our next essay is comparison and contrast. So compare and contrast. That means usually we take two ideas and we compare those ideas. Compare means showing where they're similar. Contrast, show where they're different. So compare and contrast, comparison and contrast essay. So let's go ahead and jump right into the comparison and contrast essay. This essay analyzes the details of the differences between two subjects or the similarities between two subjects. In the beginning, you really have two kinds of approaches that you can take. I'm going to draw it out here. So you can have a paragraph that introduces one idea. Let's call this idea A. And then you can have another paragraph that introduces another idea. Let's call this idea B. So idea A and ID, idea B are the ideas I want to compare and contrast. So what I could do is just do it that way. Let me tell you about A. Now let me tell you about B. Another way we could do this is we could, inside one paragraph, split the paragraph and one part of the paragraph talks about A and one paragraph talks about B. And then this paragraph has one special topic. So for example, if I was to talk about comparing and contrasting the weather between two countries, let's say the weather, the summer weather between Taiwan and Canada, then I would be able to say one topic of that is the temperature. So I could talk about the high temperature in Taiwan and the cooler temperature in Canada. Or here I have two paragraphs, but both of these paragraphs are going to be about temperature. And this one could be about Taiwan and this one could be about Canada. And then next down we choose another kind of topic to talk about. So again we do A and B and then down on this approach we do A and then next we do a, a B, right? But this topic would maybe not be temperature, maybe this topic would be rain, precipitation, rain, and then here rain. So compare and contrast is obviously two things. You could compare and contrast more than two, but that's a little bit hard, a little bit complicated. Let's stick to two to make it a little bit easier for the reader to understand. So how do we mix it up? You have two ways that you can approach this. You choose which way works for you, which way works for your topic, and which way maybe you feel comfortable with.